You know when people come up here and they say, uh, we never expected to win it? Well, we did expect to win it. <laughs> when we saw the nominations, we thought, there's no way Fleabag's gonna win that. It's definitely <laughs> us. Um, thanks very much, BAFTA, the people behind me. This is the proudest show of my whole career. I love these guys. And um, if any of you want any drugs, we'll be selling it by the bar. See you. <laughs> Your corruption. <laughs> Keep it corrupt. <laughs> I'm Steve Stamp. I'm Hugo Chegwin. I'm Alan Mustafa. I'm Asim Chowdhury, and we're from... People, People Just, Just Do Nothing! nothing. BAFTA. <laughs> <laughs> we, a lot of us used to do pirate radio back in the day, and we were into that type of comedy, because we used to watch The Office and Peep Show, Alan Partridge, stuff like that, and we loved documentaries that weren't meant to be funny. That's obviously why we like that sort of mockumentary format. We fused it. Yeah, we fused that together, really. We all did these characters, like, as in just voices at first, yeah. just to make each other laugh uh, in a sort of, on a day to day. But then we started meeting up at the weekend and sort of uh, working out a little plot that might involve these characters. And that became a sort of a little weekend project that we did over a few years. You know, we're just lucky that the first thing we tried worked. Like, that's just very lucky that um, it all sort of took off and the right people saw it and stuff like that. And but also we pushed it Yeah, yeah we did, we pushed it, but there's a lot years. of there's yeah, a lot yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, did nothing yeah. else yeah. but this. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's true. I'd say, like, Talking Heads is a lot of improv. We like to do stuff where we get the scripted take done, get that in the can a few times, and then there's, like, a few fun takes where you can you know, like, and if something comes good, then you, you know, like the director will be like, yeah, do that again. And then you cover it on the wide at the end. So, you know, you've got everything. The writing process came more when we, when we had the meeting with Rough, when we got sort of picked up by Rough Cut, basically. We had the pilot, yeah. Yeah, because, uh, yeah, it was, it was mostly all improv, apart from like a loose beat sheet for the YouTube stuff. Uh, but then, yeah, when it comes to the pilot, we kind of sort of learn how to write on the spot, I guess. I think there's a bit in Ep 2 when these guys are talking about the dad ring. And you can actually see a lot of the, the guys, especially Marvin, fantasy, he puts his head down, he's got a big cap on, and you can see he's cracking up, and you can actually listen, you can hear it as well on the audio. It's a classic technique. Yeah, <laughs> just put your head down. Just, yeah. Or just turn know. away from the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can we still do that now. <laughs> yeah, there's a, bit, there's a bit in the new series where, uh, I think it's when we are showing Beats, the new, the, the rival station, and you say something, I can't remember what it was, but I, you just see me go like that, yeah. like away from the camera, because I was just like... I said something hilarious. Something hilarious, yeah. 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 It's good to have a competitive nature even between us, because it keeps you sharp. So if, I, if you're in a group and you know you're the, the best one in the group, you're not going to ever excel or advance. But the, these guys, I know that I have to be on point. No sharp, one's safe funny. around us. No well, one's safe. None of us are safe. Even just in a normal social situation, if we're all together, we know we've got to be on point. No, if he wears the all... wrong thing, then he's going to get terrorised. Yeah, you anyway, can't wear the wrong thing. It could be thing. anything. Like, I just had a fucked up haircut the other day, and I thought, I know I was going to get it, so I did. And rightly so. And, uh, <laughs> you deserve and, it. Yeah, I deserved it, and I took it. <laughs> and But the same shit would happen if any of these had it. You know, it's just... So that's good as well in terms of collaboration. You've got to be honest with each other and not not lick each other's asses. Just be like... Yeah, have never edge. lick ass. Yeah, don't, never lick ass. Don't lick anyone's ass, oh. It's like a form of therapy when we get together and just like take the piss out of things and laugh and you know and obviously the work hard work comes with that but I think that's really important as well. I mean I don't know how that translates into advice, but <laughs> I think don't take it too seriously. Yeah, yeah, as well. yeah. I guess a lot that's of people it. take their work so seriously that sort of undoes what they want to be doing because mm -hmm. they're they're so worried about what everybody else is thinking or whatever. But if you just enjoy it, that comes across and especially in comedy you get more out of it. Don't be too precious about your stuff yeah but like, i think we used to back in the day like be so like crazy about one joke one thing yeah. just have, kill your baby you gotta kill your baby yeah, yeah and yeah. just have faith that you can make more babies yeah yeah, yeah. Have sex again yeah, yeah. you know there, there's some things that we did wrong early on as well like i was, I was dragged on a little bit yeah very indulgent um, edits yeah like 12 14 minutes but you know like keep it short though. be brutal yeah be yeah. brutal with it um, and also just keep questioning and talking with people and like working on it and making it better, because your first idea is never going to be incredible, but you can... Apart from ours. And I, ours was, but yeah, it, was, yeah. it, was a, it was a low level version of an True. incredible idea that True. we gradually built up into something. <laughs> and I think as well, just look at, your, look at what interaction you get as well. Like you, sometimes it's hard to tell what hits. If you're doing something, you, some, some of our jokes we thought would never stick, but some of them ones, like some of those bits have gone on 
and we know they've become like staple things in the show. So this is the weirdest thing ever. It's become like a tropical storm or some scene out of planet Earth right now. Um, we're kind of like under some tarpauling and we're joined by the boys uh, from People Just Do Nothing. Boys, uh, hello and uh, obviously congratulations on, on, you know, being nominated for tonight. Thank What's you. it like being here? It's, it's, it's kind of strange, isn't it? Yeah, man, it's surreal. <laughs> very surreal. Making us all very wet yeah. right now. Yeah. We're all very excited. We're <laughs> not supposed to be here. Yeah. Although it's our second time round, but... Second time round, of course, of course, of course. Uh, but obviously seeing the reception of the new series, I know you guys are currently, currently filming the new series as well. Um, what's it been like? Does it just keep getting stranger and stranger? Yeah, it's pretty mad. Um, I mean, yeah, it is mad being here. The rain makes it a bit madder as well, but, uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's, it's amazing. So, uh, what can I say? It's so good. Um, Asim, I'll have to try and get through to here. Uh, Asim, of course, you're up for a very special award tonight. What was it like seeing that nomination come through? Yeah, it was mad. I thought it was. Uh, I thought it was one of those uh, moonlight kind of mistakes. I thought I was waiting for Warren Beatty to pop out. <laughs> it's been a mistake. Oh, no, it's, Warren G. Yeah, Warren G. yeah. But yeah. yeah. well, no, it's been ridiculous. Like they're all like legends. So I'm not going to win it, but it's an honor. you think that though? It's an honour to be, you know, up against those. No, but we're all legends, and you're the best out of us. So, well, you know, he said it. His <laughs> words. Have you have you, pra have you have you practiced the faces of like if you uh, win or? If you I haven't written anything because it's no. That's now. I really hope you win. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> not going to happen. There's no point. Oh man, come on though, but it's good. Um, but obviously, you've got the boys here supporting you tonight. Seeing the love, obviously, that I was I was talking to the guys here. Seeing the love for the show and all that. It's it's been special over, hasn't it, over the past couple of years, past few years now. Yeah, yeah. Just to see, like, you know, we started this from nothing, so it's about it's inspirational. Like, it's like we really created something from nothing. So it's, it's every moment is a proud moment. Asim Chowdhury, hello. Clara Anfo, hello. Mate, last time I saw you on this red carpet, you're with all your brothers from People Just yeah, Do Nothing. Yeah. You're out here solo. That showbiz? <laughs> that, I mean, that's showbiz, but I'm here with the Black Mirror family, so Bandersnatch crew. Um, and yeah, but I mean, not, but they're not here, but I've got my corrupt FM chain okay. throwing the Ks up, always represent. Always so represent. They're here in spirit with me. We like that. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah, guys, he hasn't gone that show, because it's all right. Loyalty. There we go. Loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. 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 That's a great there song. I live by that. UV Kendrick, Ivy Rihanna. There we go, done. There we go. Done. But enough about music, TV, because that is why you're yeah. here. Um, now, look, it was your first time on this red carpet last year. Have you got any tips for any hopeful screenwriters and actors on the come up? Because it's not like you've come out here with a silver spoon in yeah. your mouth. You've, you've really grafted. What's your, what would you say is your quote unquote secret? Well, I mean, I would say that don't, don't, I mean, these awards are amazing, don't get me wrong, but be a, be a champ of the people. Write for the people and write for yourself. You know, like, don't go award chasing and you know this is all amazing yeah but it's not really why you should do it yeah all this stuff is you know it's, it's the cherry on the top but um yeah just but you, you know, wouldn't mind a cherry would you uh, yeah we, well we've got we've got a cherry <laughs> don't worry about that we've got a couple of cherries no but yeah just be be real to yourself mm. and write for yourself and your people okay, and uh the bafta goes to people just do nothing <laughs> Well, um, this is a madness. Uh, shout out everyone that believed in us. Big up Rough Cut for uh, helping us do this. It's literally came from nothing on YouTube. We were just a group of mates, uh, just mucking around with each other, because I can't swear. Come, come, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. It's, you're coming, you're coming as well. But yeah, just want to shout everyone out. Thank you very much. Go on, Stevie. Uh, I don't know what else to say, really. Over to Ash, she loves it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry for the delay. I had to go in through the KFC kitchens. Um, uh, yeah, I've waited 10 years to give this award. I used to be up here with Ricky Gervais in the office and they never, ever let me talk. You all probably thought I was mute, so this is gonna take an hour. Everyone shut the fuck up. <laughs> and I'm watching that, but you better not cut any of it out. Um, you know when people come up here and they say, uh, we never expected to win it? Well, we did expect to win it. <laughs> when we saw the nominations, we thought, there's no way Fleabag's gonna win that. It's definitely us. <laughs> um, thanks very much, BAFTA, the people behind me. This is the proudest show of my whole career. I love these guys. And um, if any of you want any drugs, we'll be selling it by the bar. See you in <laughs> To your corruption. Keep it corrupt.
Congratulations, Corrupt FM, a well-deserved BAFTA tonight. I'm a little bit worried though, Big Daddy Grander. Does this mean that you're going to take Corrupt FM from the underground finally into the mainstream? I'm not actually in character now, but yeah, <laughs> let's say Grinder would. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'm just gas now, man. I'm just, I'm just mean right now. And everyone is. You're you. I'm, I'm me, and I'm not even on drugs, really. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Much. I don't really talk like this. Yeah. <laughs> Shall I talk? Shall I talk? Just like normal. Normal. Yeah. Well, like, this is an exclusive. You sorry, it's ruining yeah. everything, isn't you it? You were up against some ridiculous competition yeah. in the category. Did you allow yourself to play with the idea that you were going to win, or did you no. just was it a total? No, we didn't thought, think we were going to yeah. win at all. We just thought Fleabag would win. Yeah, yeah. They we got told beat it. us to everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we were just like, ah, I mean, I mean, shit big there. ups, and we're not sour. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We're not sour anymore. We're just proving more yeah. talented. <laughs> exactly. Phoebe's just that no, she's oh, yeah, yeah. no. That's cool. Yeah. Um, well, I'm not scared of her. <laughs> she's pretty tall. I know. Just so. <laughs> she's won one tonight anyway. Yeah, so. one yeah. each. Yeah. That's yeah. what we're doing. Just yeah, divvying them exactly. out. Yeah. Yeah. Communism. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. Um, you guys must feel really proud of how far it's come. Like your your fans have travelled with you through this. People are so excited for what you do next. Um, has that has that spurred you on? Just that that reception that it got got from the get go. Now, yeah, I mean, yeah, definitely. This, yeah, this is next level. You struck like, a chord think, straight away. Yeah, like, it's sort of like take every stage we sort of try and make it fun. I'm getting attacked by a plant. <laughs> every time we do another series, we try and make it better. Every time we do a show, we try and make it better than the last show. So Every time I look in the mirror, I try to make myself a better person. Yeah, of course. and uh, right. just keep on building it and hopefully people appreciate that. So and this is yeah, just the least. next level now, it's man. Like, we're going to be the biggest winning. arrogant shit you've ever met. Yeah, <laughs> this is where we just turn yeah, into yeah, yeah, this is it. Well, I'm, it, I'm sick of being normal. It very much feels like a show that was created out of love. It's about something that you obviously care a lot yeah. about. Yeah. Yeah, Are definitely. you worried about perhaps losing that in the next series? Not at all. No, it's important for us to like... The culture, you know, the culture is really important, and like we're lucky enough to be accepted by it as well. So it's like this is something we, we. This is in us. We grew up yeah. with Pirate Radio. We was on Pirate Radio yeah, as exactly. MC, was a DJ. Yeah. This, you could never lose that. This is that's until we stop this. That's going to be at the heart of it. This is a monumental night, though. So how are you gonna? How are you gonna party? How are you gonna celebrate? It's family show. Remember, <laughs> it's not al alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only way you can, isn't it? Can I say cocktail? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine. it's totally fine. Yeah, yeah, There's yeah. loads of water. We're gonna be so hydrated tonight. <laughs> yeah, you're yeah, yeah, You're gonna feel great. You're yeah. gonna be glowing. Yeah, and music. We're gonna proper. do this thing called dancing as well. We're right. bloody absolutely Guys, mentalists. Stop. Would you yeah, stop? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, well done, and just yeah, massive. We're both massive fans. Oh, so thank, you, thank you, thank you. Likewise, guys. thanks very so, yeah, much. It's nice mad for having us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Nice one. Do you get to keep the mics? Or? Nah, you gotta get the mics back. The <laughs> awards you can keep. I get but, uh, I'll take yeah. this one.